So let's take a look at Intel Core i7 4790K, the Devil's Canyon processor. Uh, I will call it as well. I don't know where the Devil's Canyon name comes from, but with the newer Skylake i5 6400. Well, still, <coughs> the Devil's Canyon was launched a year ago in quarter second quarter 2015. The Skylake is launched just recently as I make this processor and we will take a look at one thing you need to keep in mind is this k suffix is the overclockable part you can overclock it beyond its normal designated frequency let's take a look at some of the quick differences between them the i7-4790k supports the hyper threading for each core we have two threads running in parallel if the if it's need to and that drives up the performance by 15 percent we have a substantially higher clock frequency 2.7 gigahertz versus 4 gigahertz and also in turbo clock improves from 3.3 gigahertz to 4.4 gigahertz we also have a higher cache memory 8, 8 6 mb versus 8 mb so with these three things we expect this i7-4790 to be substantially faster than the newer Skylake i5-6400. Let's take a look at the benchmark score to confirm our hypothesis. i7-4790 is 11,238 versus 6,686, almost 70 to 80 percent performance difference. So, the of course, you will need to pay substantially more for i7-4790K which is listed at $350 as of now versus $187 for Skylab. With these differences in mind, let's take a look at a couple of more things. We have a support for DDR4 in Skylab which does not improve any performance but it works at lower voltage at 1.2 volt versus 1.5 volt for DDR3 in i7-4790 which saves you some power which is not very significant for the desktop processor. We have higher better graphics Intel HD graphics 530 versus HD graphics 4600 so that is one and only thing better in i5-6400. So, so the Skylake advantage is number one, better graphics, number two, cheaper. The Haswell or Devil's Canyon advantage is faster, it's much faster, it's overclockable, but it's also more expensive. Thanks for taking a look.